So, my name is uh, Rangnath Rao KV. I am a retired uh, selection grade lecturer in a government polytechnic. Now, first of all, I welcome this uh, Sai Jayani Academy Registrar. Right, really, it's one of the most uh, 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 wonderful institute for uh, students. They are going to guide in such a way that the students are supposed to be learn every uh, subject, every branch of engineering. This is one of the important uh, thing to tell you that is uh, Sai Jayani Academy. For today's class, we are uh, solving DCET 2018 solution series. DCET 2018 solution series. So, according to this uh, engineering mathematics subjects one and two, I am suppose of course I am uh, now today I am considered with uh, engineering mathematics one and two subjects what you are studied in your first and second semester. In that topic they are supposed to be set the questions around 40 marks. 40 marks in the engineering mathematics subjects. So now there are the portion of this uh, subject is in trigonometry, algebra, analytical geometry, limits, differentiation and its applications, integration and its applications and differential equations. Respective subjects they are supposed to be about the marks and supposed to be there set the questions like this about 40 questions they are going to set. Of course in trigonometry 6, algebra 10, analytical geometry is 3, limits is 3, differentiation and it, its application is 8 integration and its application is 7 and the differential equation is uh, 3 marks questions. So totally there are 40 marks questions they are supposed to be set in this DCT pattern. Okay, I hope, I hope today's class it is, uh, I am going to start that is uh, 2018 solution series in that first I like to cover the portion that is known as a uh, uh, trigonometry. It is a better way to understand why I am going to cover the first of all the trigonometry. Trigonometry is a very important to understand this differentiation, integration and differential equations. These are all depend on this subject, given limits. Sometimes analytical geometry, algebra also it is required for knowing the trigonometry. For that purpose, I am going to start this uh, uh, trigonometry chapter. Yes, see the first question in trigonometry that is, if tan theta is equal to 2 by 3 and he has given the solution that the angle should be lies between pi and 3 pi by 2. As we know that pi is equal to how many degrees? 180 degree. 3 pi by 2 means it is 270 degree. So 180 degree to 270 degree means it lies in the third quadrant. Then find the value of sin theta plus cos theta he has asking the question. What is the value of sin theta plus cos theta is what the kelta? So this is the question. Now see here, when it is lies in the third quadrant, as we know that, so that is, uh, see this line. So now he has given in the third quadrant, opposite side is 2 and uh, adjacent side is 3 because we are knowing the value of tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is 2 and adjacent side is 3. Since this is in which quadrant? Third quadrant. In the third quadrant, opposite side that is y axis is negative, x axis is also negative. Actually this value is uh, minus 2 by 3. So minus 2 by minus 3, not plus 3. That is very important. So therefore, now we have to find the hypotenuse by Pythagoras result as we know that if we are supposed to be mark is here OMP that is what we are having OP squared is equal to OM squared plus MP squared. What is OM? OM is minus 3 whole square plus of MP is minus 2 whole square. That is we are having 9 plus 4 that is equal to 13. Therefore, OP is equal to what we are having plus or minus root 13. But hypotenuse vector is always positive. Therefore, we are taken only that is plus root 13. So now, now we are asked to find what? Sin theta plus cos theta. Is it not? What is sin theta now? For the angle theta, sin theta is minus 2 by root 13. 
minus 2 by root 13 plus of cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse that is minus 3 by root 13. So, the totally while adding this, this become the LCM is uh, root 13, we are having minus 2 minus 3 that is minus 5 by root 13 is the answer. So, therefore, we have to think that is, he has given the out of 4 answer, the one answer is uh, D that is minus 5 by root 13. Okay, can I understand this one is how we are going to evaluate that is pi less than theta less than 3 pi by 3 pi by 2 means that is lies in the quadrant this is 0 degree this is uh, pi by 2 this is pi this is uh, 3 pi by 2 this is also equal to 2 pi as you know that so pi by 2 means how much that is 90 degree pi means how much that is 180 degree 3 pi by 2 means how much it is 270 degree so like that so now this angle theta lies in the third quadrant therefore while third quadrant while substituting the values that is very important to consider this is though it is positive third in the third quadrant it is positive because according to what we are knowing another rule that is whether you are remember or not that is we can say ASTC rule I hope ASTC rule means all the trigonometric functions are positive in the first quadrant that is uh, in the second quadrant sine and its reciprocal sine and cosecant are positive in the third, second quadrant in the third quadrant tan and cot so tan and cot are positive in the third quadrant in remaining are negative and in the fourth quadrant cos and secant are positive the remaining are negative so this is about the first questions what we are supposed to be taken